Hello everyone and welcome to the Life Stories channel. Today we are talking about Jack Septic Eye. Sean William McLaughlin was born on the 7th of February 1990 in Clogan, County Offaly, the youngest of five children to John and Florrie McLaughlin. He was given a nickname Jack Septic Eye after an accident during a football match in which he injured his eye. As a teenager, he moved with his parents to a log cabin in Ballycumber, County Offaly. He was a drummer for a melodic death metal influence metalcore band called Raised to the Ground, with whom he released one EP titled Risen from the Ashes in 2009. He then moved to an apartment in Athlone, County Westmeath. McLaughlin joined YouTube on the 24th of February 2007, but did not start uploading videos until November 2012, when he started to work on his channel under the name Jack Septicai posting gameplay videos. In 2013, he was mentioned in a PewDiePie video, causing him to go from 2,500 subscribers to 15,000 in 4 days. During July 2014, his channel gained over 57 million views, and at the time, his channel had only 800,000 subscribers. By February 2015, the channel had reached 1 billion views and 3.2 million subscribers. In January 2016, he was one of the initial YouTubers signed under PewDiePie's network, Revel Mode. Throughout 2016, McLaughlin continued to upload two videos a day while also making frequent collaborations with other YouTubers. A common series of videos was where he would play prop hunt with fellow YouTubers such as Markiplier, Lord Minion 777 and Myuxka. This was also the first year he competed in the annual bottle flip challenge against PewDiePie. In this competition, they would flip a bottle and whoever doesn't land, they'd have to look at a Reddit 50-50 post. After the first episode made in December 2016, the tradition was put on hold until they made another in May 2019 and then once again in May 2020. McLaughlin co-starred as the antagonist in the second season of the YouTube Red Show scare, PewDiePie. However, the season was cancelled before its release due to controversy surrounding PewDiePie. The series was planned to premiere on the 9th of March 2017. On the 18th of February 2017, McLaughlin released a video called Let's Talk to his YouTube channel, which discussed PewDiePie being cut from Maker Studios for his use of anti-Semitic imagery. In it, he clarified that while he had tweeted in support of PewDiePie, he did not condone his actions and believed he could have been more apologetic. Overall, McLaughlin states, You can still be friends with somebody, but not agree with something that they do. I don't think the world is that black and white. However, the next day he tweeted that he regretted focusing on criticising PewDiePie in a video, saying that he had been naive. In a Tumblr post, he said his main regret was not commenting on the mainstream media's reporting of the controversy, stating, There were some unethical practices at play with the media. A lot of misquoting and a lot of misrepresentation. Following the controversy, it was confirmed that the Revel Mode network had been shut down by Disney. McLaughlin then signed to the Disney Digital Network. In June 2017, Polaris, a division of the Walt Disney Company, announced that McLaughlin would be featured on the DXP, a television programming block on the channel Disney XD. The title of the series featuring McLaughlin is Polaris Player Select. He and YouTuber Strawberry17 hosted the Level Up Games panel at the D23 Expo 2017. In July 2017, it was announced that McLaughlin would be a playable character in a strategic prison escape game, The Escapists 2. In September 2017, McLaughlin was featured on the RTE The Two Rich List in the Top 30 Under 30 category. McLaughlin toured throughout September and October in 2017 in the US with the How Did We Get Here tour and then returned to the UK and Europe to tour with the Game Grumps for the Ready Player 3 tour. In August 2017, he obtained a new electric drum kit and announced plans to occasionally upload drum covers to his channel, starting with a cover of Chop Suey by System of a Down on the 30th of August. And on the 8th of October 2019, he uploaded a cover of Up Holy Confessions by Avenged Sevenfold. In January 2018, it was announced McLaughlin would produce exclusive content for Twitch as part of a multi-year deal with Disney's digital network. In February 2018, McLaughlin released dates for a US and Canada run 
of the How Did We Get Here tour. And in April 2018, it was announced that McLaughlin would be a part of the comedy lineup for the How The Light Gets In festival. And in May 2018, McLaughlin uploaded a video of him and Ryan Reynolds playing the Deadpool video game. In October 2018, McLaughlin posted a video announcing Cloak, a clothing brand he created with Markiplier. Items were available for pre-order at the time and of upload and the brand officially launched the following month. Cloak has since welcomed YouTuber and Twitch streamer Pokemane as a third partner and became an ongoing project of McLaughlin's. In January 2019, McLaughlin signed with WME. In June 2019, it was announced that McLaughlin would be a part of the lineup at the Metarama Gaming Plus Music Festival alongside acts such as Marshmallow, Logic, Ninja and Overwatch League players. Laughlin made a video in July 2020 declaring that he was going on a break which lasted for just over a month. He stated that he was exhausted from uploading every day and that he didn't have the same passion in the political state of the world and the internet. McLaughlin returned to his channel with a live stream titled The Return on August 10th, 2020. He has since resumed regular uploads but has stated that he would be discontinuing his two video a day schedule as it was mentally and physically draining. On the 7th of February 2021, McLaughlin announced he would be taking another indefinite hiatus from recording and streaming due to personal grief following the death of his father in January, but he returned on the 22nd of February. In December 2016, McLaughlin was part of a Rebel Mode charity holiday livestream, hashtag Cringemus, with PewDiePie, Markiplier, Emma Blackery, and PJ Liguri. The group raised over $1.3 million under the hashtag, hashtag EndAids, with the matching donations from the Gates Foundation and YouTube. In December 2017, McLaughlin hosted two charity streams to raise money for saved children, with Blackery and Liguri. In a second stream, Blackery revealed that over $260,000 had been raised for the charity. In January 2019, McLaughlin hosted a live stream that raised over $100,000 for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. In May, McLaughlin hosted a fundraising stream for Red Nose Day 2019, raising over $110,000 in 9 hours. In January 2020, McLaughlin hosted a live stream that raised over $200,000 in 4 hours for the bushfires in Australia. In April 2020, McLaughlin hosted a live stream that raised over $650,000 in 12 hours for COVID-19 relief funds. Including a subsequent live stream in collaboration with McLaughlin, the campaign raised over $1.7 million. In December 2020, McLaughlin raised over $1.4 million in 10 hours for the Red Nose Day campaign. Including a subsequent live stream in collaboration with McLaughlin, the campaign raised over $4 million. And since 2017, McLaughlin has raised more than $6 million in total for charity live streams. And that's it today, guys. If you like this, then please make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time.